What is up guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going over the 10 creepiest moments in kids shows. Number 10, the NBC show ALF, which is about a smart mouth alien who crashes and lands in a suburban garbage. The normally quirky and fun TV show had a rather brutal series finale. In the last episode entitled, Consider Me Gone, the series ended on a very ominous note. A common theme in the series was the idea that if ALF was ever discovered by the government, it would likely lead to some form of alien dissection and the end of the character as we know it. The show ended with ALF being surrounded by a whole squad of government officials and there's something very frightening about the implications. In fact, an earlier episode had already implied that ALF was on their radar, showing what sinister intentions they had with the furry creature. Our furry alien hero had a very unfortunate demise and it was very hard to watch the finale without feeling creeped out and sick to your stomach. Number 9, the Nickelodeon show Rocco's Modern Life, which is about someone who moved from Australia to the USA and found that life wasn't as easy as he had hoped, which aired from 1993 to 1996. It was known for pushing the envelope quite often as far as kids shows go. However, it went a bit too far with the episode to heck and back. In the episode, Rocco's pal Heifer choked to death on a piece of chicken and got sent to his own unique vision of hell, known as Heck. It was totally creepy to watch Heifer die a painful death and then fart out his own soul as he descends into Heck. His detour is also filled with tons of self-hatred, with Heifer even proclaiming that he's glad to be dead and being forced to watch Rocco die over and over again while being trapped inside a monstrous stomach. Number 8, Family Matters, which is a sitcom that debuted in 1989 on ABC. The show centers around a policeman, Carl Winslow, and his family. The most popular character on the show was a nerd next door named Steve Urkel, who doesn't seem to understand that he actually doesn't live with the family. In one Halloween episode, Urkel had a ventriloquist dummy that looked like himself, although the Winslow family was not impressed with his act. During a freak thunderstorm, his dummy is struck by lightning and comes to life using the name of Stevel. Urkel does his best to warn the Winslows, but naturally they dismiss his absurdity. Stevel starts picking off the family members one by one and culminates in Steve engaging in an epic battle with a dummy. A killer dummy, yeah, creepy. Number 7, The Nickelodeon Show, Are You Afraid of the Dark, which is one of the scariest kids shows ever produced. One of the more disturbing episodes was entitled The Tale of the Dead Man's Float. In the episode, a mysterious force is haunting a high school pool. After a young kid drowns in the 1950s due to mysterious circumstances, the pool is boarded up and closed until the 1990s when high school nerd Zeke discovers it. Zeke tells his crush and then they get the school to reopen the pool. When his crush is in the danger of getting kicked off the swim team for poor grades, he tutors her in favor of teaching him how to swim. While in the pool, they mysteriously get pulled down into the water by something. They soon learn that the pool was built over a graveyard and is haunted by an evil spirit. While in the pool, a bloody skeleton creature emerges while emitting a foul gas smell. They finally defeat the evil spirit once and for all by using chemicals from their science class. All these years later, we are still freaked out by the image of that bloody skeleton corpse. Number 6, in the early 1990s, ABC had a show called Dinosaurs. It was a fun kid show with a cast full of lovable animated characters. No one would have ever thought or expected that the series finale would have them all meet a horrible demise. The final episode, entitled Changing Nature, showcased the horrifying death of its cast of the character in a doomsday event. Worse yet, this apocalypse was created by one of their very own, the warm father dino known as Earl Sinclair. Earl ends up poisoning all the plant life at the request of the corporation he volunteers for. In an effort to bring back the plants, he blocks the sun from the planet causing global below zero temperatures. Earl realizes that his fatal mistake was not respecting nature. It's such a shocking haunting ending that no one saw it coming with the final shot of the series being a snow covered Sinclair home with no signs of life. Number 5, the Spongebob Squarepants episode called Nasty Patty is one of the most creepy and disturbing episodes ever created. In it, Spongebob and Mr. Krabs accidentally cause the death of the health inspector who they wrongly thought was a fraud by giving him the most vile patty that they could create. As he is eating it, he chokes on a fly and he is dying. This is followed by Spongebob and Krabs laughing hysterically at his suffering. Though his death is actually a misunderstanding, Spongebob and Krabs think they killed him with a tainted patty. 
They began going to great lengths in order to cover it up, including burying his body near the appropriately named Shallow Grave Road. It's a horror story in the truest sense, focusing on paranoia of two friends caught in the middle of a murder. They eventually begin attempting to lay the blame on the other when the cops come sniffling around. Number 4, The Nickelodeon Show, Invader Zim, which ran from 2001 through 2004. Zim is an extraterrestrial from the planet Urk who is posing as a schoolboy. His goal on Earth is to conquer and control the human race. One episode in particular still gives me nightmares. This truly creepy episode entitled Dark Harvest follows Zim as he begins stealing and assimilating the organs of his classmates in an attempt to fool the school nurse. Zim stalks his prey and replaces their organs with whatever objects are convenient to him at the time. At the end of the episode, they show the ultimate result of Zim's organ stealing, a hideous blob of stolen organs. Number 3, Punky Brewster, which was a hit kids show that aired from 1984 through 1988. The show is based on the exploits of a Zanny foster child and her adopted family and her quirky group of friends. In a two-part episode entitled The Perils of Punky, Punky and her friends are all on a camping trip. The kids wander off and get lost, eventually deciding to seek shelter in a cave. Once inside, a large group of Indians show up and one of them starts to tell the kids a story about an evil spirit. The kids decide to take on the evil spirit and head deeper in the cave. They see multiple glowing eyes and find a rock with arms and legs fused onto it. As they get closer, the decapitated heads pop up and tell the kids he is like that due to the evil spirit. The kids end up getting stuck inside a giant spider web and Punky gets attacked by the spider. Then, the decapitated head of one of her friends appears inside the cave wall, screaming her name in a demonic voice and laughing hysterically. Punky runs to another part of the cave where she is confronted by the floating, disembodied head of another one of her friends. Even her dog was killed and was now a walking skeleton. Punky, quickly getting over her friend's death, defeats the evil spirit by showing it compassion. At the end of the episode, it turns out it was all a story Punky was telling. Who thought this tale of murdered, possessed children, giant spiders, and evil spirits was appropriate for a kid's show? Number 2, a Tom and Jerry episode that aired in 1956 by the name of Blue Cat Blues. The episode started out with Tom sitting on a railroad track bent on suicide. Jerry looks from above recalling the events that led up to this. Apparently, Tom was attracted to a white cat, but there was a much wealthier cat by the name of Mr. Butch. In order to win her affection, Tom kept buying things in order to make himself seem more wealthy, but Mr. Butch kept on surpassing him. Tom eventually got to the point where he sold himself to 20 years of slavery in order to pay off his debt. Despite Tom's attempts, Mr. Butch still came out on top. Because of this, the white cat rejects Tom. He gives up on all hope and falls into a deep depression and began drinking. He eventually decided to take his own life. Jerry, while watching Tom, looks back on his own girlfriend. Jerry's flashbacks is interrupted by Jerry's girlfriend riding in a car with another mouse. There's also a just married sign in the back. Jerry realizes that he is in the same situation as Tom. He decides to join him on the railroad tracks and his sound of train gets louder and louder as the cartoon fades away. And number one, Hey Arnold, which is a Nickelodeon show about a fourth grader named Arnold living in the city. In the creepy episode Haunted Train, Arnold's grandpa tells a story about the days when he worked for the railroad that really stuck with him. He said, one day, the engineer of Engine 25 just went crazy and drove the train all the way into the fiery underworld. He also mentions that it happens to be the anniversary of the day the engineer disappeared. Naturally, Arnold and Gerald try to ride the train all the way to the end because Grandpa said that if they did, they will smell sulfur, see fire, and even see the ghost of the engineer. There's a simple explanation at the end of their ride though. The final stop happens to be at a steel mill, so the bad smell and fire are not a ghost or the fiery underworld. Still, the episode ends with a ghost playing the accordion, just like Grandpa described. And that is it for the video guys, as always thanks for watching, we hope y'all enjoyed, if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, follow me on Twitter at Valenplana and I'll see you all later.